Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Finn, or yet another gaming fail, and uh, I've been doing a brief mini-series on um, some items for the mission editor in DCS. Now, obviously, um, there's a lot to cover here. There's a lot of different stuff you can do. Um, we've already set up um, how to start from an aircraft and how to drive your vehicle around and um, get them to travel to waypoints and do different things like going on and off road, um, which has been very useful. But um, now we're going to start looking towards some more functional topics, um, things that you might want to do in um, in the mission editor that would be very useful, that would be very handy, that would uh, that would you know be good for your missions. Now. Of course, one of the things that we quite often like to do in DCS, because we love to punish ourselves, uh, is to do aerial refuelings. Now, I quite enjoy aerial refuelling. I could sit on the back of a tanker for hours and just enjoy the view and doing all of this stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by placing down an aircraft, as we've done previously, um, and have it set up as a, uh, as a, as a, a refuelling tanker. So um, the models that you have available are... Um, the KC-135, KC-130, and the 135 MPRS. Those are the stock um, game ones. There's also the KC-10 Extender and Extender Drogue from um, the military aircraft mod, which you likely won't have. Uh, if you want to find it, it's on the user files on the DCS forums. So um, what we'll do is we'll start them out to sea over here, um, and we'll get AI to do all of this because, you know, that's, that's what I feel like doing now. You want to have them fly um, in a straight line for a while because you don't want to absolutely destroy your players' wills and um, and sentiments of having to follow this aircraft around while it's doing loop the loops and all sorts. So what we'll do is um, we'll send him to fly forward and he's flying in that direction for, at the moment, about 8 minutes. So let's make that a bit longer. 10 minutes, there we are. 10 minutes in that direction. Now, we can kind of roughly estimate that's going to be the same speed here. That brings him to 20 and then back over here, and that brings them to 30, and then we can leave it at that. So what we're going to do is, as you can see, we've kind of made the waypoints go in a bit of a box shape. Now, that's intentional, um, because obviously your aero refueling aircraft, you don't want to have them just fly off and never come back again. You'd probably like to have them fly in a loop or a circuit. Um, most aircraft would do that. Um, I've discussed with an ex-US Air Force friend of mine as to what the standard procedure would be, often they would have aircraft that would fly across uh, as if en route and they would land somewhere else and then you'd have someone come in and cover the area from another direction. Um, so they, you wouldn't always be flying circuits because it makes you vulnerable. But for the sake of DCS, for the sake of making it easy, let's have them fly circuits. Now, you could, on your waypoint, have them set to orbit, but that would mean them, them have to constantly turning, and we'll cover orbiting later on in a video. Um, but for the moment, the way I like to do it is I like to have them fly out, you know, 10 minutes, and then 10 minutes, and then 10 minutes. And then at this last waypoint over here, we're going to start using these advanced waypoint actions. Now, these are really useful because it lets you add a bunch of extra features to the waypoints that your aircraft would otherwise not normally use. So you can see here by standard he's got the uh, the tanker basic reference. So he will automatically be a you know an, a refueling aircraft, a tanker. Um, so you know we can hit add task down here. So we've got add, insert, edit, delete, up, down and clone. Much of it you would do exactly what it expects. I'm not going to go into that. I'm sure you're all smart smart people but if you hit add you go to perform task. Now you've got a few different options here which we'll cover one by one later on. But go to perform command and then switch waypoint. And then we're going to leave it set to zero. So what's happened here is I've selected waypoint three and I've added an a uh, task to go back to waypoint zero. So what it'll do is this guy's going to fly from waypoint zero to one to two to three and then once he's completed waypoint three he's going to turn around and fly back to waypoint zero and that means that he will fly around and fly in a circuit and you know we can uh, we can actually witness that in fact what we'll do just really quickly is bring him up to a higher altitude because uh, he's a refueling tanker and we don't want him smashing into the mountains there we are, we'll hit that, we'll save, we'll fly, we'll hit start, and if we give us a quick watch, so there's not much in terms of planes of reference at the moment, but if we just speed it up, you can see him flying out to sea, you can see the, uh, see the land out in the background there, 
So two minutes have gone by as it sped up. We're at three. We're at four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. So you can see there he's now started a turn. He's going to level it out and now he's going to fly for another 10 minutes in this direction. And so we'll keep speeding this up until we get about half an hour in. And now at this point he's just shy of half an hour into his flight. Flying over the mountains and this is the bit where he's going to reset back to waypoint 1. So any second now he will perform a nice banking right hand turn. And here we go. And now he's going to continue to fly his circuit for indefinitely. Um, eventually, he will decide that he's run out of fuel, and he will go and land at the nearest friendly airbase. So if you have a friendly airbase set, he'll go and land. So um, we can use this feature later on. But um, for now, this has been a guide on how to set up a refueling tanker. If you want to use this, you just use it through the radio menu, menu as you standard, like you know, standardly would. Um, and I hope that this has been a useful tutorial in uh, in how to get yourself set up with an aero refueling aircraft that you can rendezvous with and take that sweet, sweet sip of life. Um, so yeah. Thank you very much for your time. Hope you all have a wonderful day. If you'd like to, you can like and subscribe. Obviously, I'm not going to force you to. And uh, hopefully, we'll have some more videos like this in the near future. Thank you very much. Bye.